Mm-mm. I mean, what if you had it before? Yeah. And so it, this is a call for younger women to think about your options. At least you know that there's this option. So I was injecting myself. Parang, tokoin ko naman sarili ko, sabi ko, takot ako dun. Nilo, magpabotox nga ako sa gana, di ba? So parang mm-hmm. narinig ko rin ako. Meron dalawa manliligaw. So anyway, si Blake yung isa doon. Tapos sabi ko, alam mo yung kung masyado to si Blake. Tapos sabi ni Margot ng Becky Nights. Sabi niya, girl, yan yung hiningi mo. Tapos sabi ko, ha? Huh? Ano siya yung hiningi ko? Hi Divine, thank you so much for joining us. Finally, nice to meet you. You know, last <laughs> night we were doing this episode live, right? And we kind of started with the game. I, we just want to show you the game really, really quickly. And then, try to, <laughs> sure. the game was called Choose Your Sperm Donor. <laughs> So I'll just give you like yung three lang and then tell me what you, your answer is. <laughs> George Clooney <laughs> or Brad Pitt? George Clooney. George Clooney. Ah, okay. Look. May ligaw sa ganyan look. Um, yung mga dark. <laughs> I found Brad Pitt really cute. I, I just found him like a white guy. Uh, yung George, I like it na tumanda, mas guwapo pa siya. Yun nga, and <laughs> fine wine. Mm-hmm. How about... <laughs> Chris Evans or Henry Cavill? Well, we go to we go to Henry, of course. I mean, they're both mm-hmm. cute. Hard. Okay. Anybody. But they don't know if That's true. Iba, iba na lang oh, eh. Para, ano, United Color. <laughs> okay, this one is my personal favorite. Goma or Aga? Hmm. The Charda, they're both my friends, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, I work with her, and she's my Nina. And then Charlene, I also work with, and um, we see each other every time there's a Brent meet because her, I'm a al- alumni, and her kids are in um, Brent. Mm. Well, one of her kids. Um, I would say, I'm thinking about me, ha, sperm donor to me. I think mas bagay matangkad. So I would say, um, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> like it. I love Lucy. hearing the answers to this. <laughs> uh, team Aga ako forever. Okay, so let's jump right in the conversation. So we we just narrowed it down to 10 questions that we want to ask you about egg freezing. So the first one is, at what age did you freeze your eggs and why? Okay, so mine was more of a process. Things weren't as easy before because I started with one doctor who got me through all the medicines already. I 24 ako start eh. Pinag-medicate na ako and then realized after a while that I wasn't married and won't actually harvest my eggs because I, number one, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I mean, wala naman ako medical problem needing it, diba? And number two, um, yeah, I was young at that time. And then number three, religious siya. So, hindi niya hina-harvest. Even if eggs lang, ha? not embryos, ha? hindi pa i-fertilize. Ha? So, hmm. halfway through the process, I had to look for another doctor, go through it again. So, let's say I started the process at 24, ended around 26. Kasi hindi rin ako nagmamadali. So, Two-year process. Know, I would do one, ano, I would do one consultation, and then, siguro next month, I have another doctor na I'm gonna consult. Alam mo yun, parang ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, most of the people kasi going through IVF now, they're usually doing it because of need. It mm-hmm. was, parang mm-hmm. kailangan na nila, they want a kid na. So, nagmamadali na sila. At that time, I really had the luxury of time. Mm-hmm. Um, I can delay my appointments. Hindi naman ako, it, it was just freezing my egg. Hindi naman ako gagawa pa ng baby. So, yeah, it took me about two years going back and forth, different doctors, checking which one I really like the best. Mm-mm. Yeah. What was the push that you even went to see a doctor and start the process at 24? Oh, Karina. Karina's a good friend of mine. Uh, okay. um, she was actually doing that. Um, that time, sorry, one minute. Blanca, it's okay. Sorry, nag ingay nila. Um, so cute, by the way. Both of them. <laughs> she was going through the process. Na. So, um, we had lunch, and then she said, You know what? You're so high on life. You should do it. Parang ganon. Casually. And then it stuck. But I kept on thinking about it. Na, oh, nga, no, oh, nga, no. But syempre, at that time, nga, wala ka namang naririnig na anything. Wala ka na, walang Scarlet Bello, walang Pepe and Pilar. Mm-hmm. Wala rin ako. Literally, I don't know anybody who did it. 
unlike now, ang dami ng articles, di ba? Yeah. So, yeah, I started um, talking to her and then she gave me all the list of the doctors that I can check out. And then I did na my own thing. So, it was really Karina. So, I always tell her and I owe the kids to her mm-hmm. because if she didn't tell me to do that, hindi ako nag-freeze ng eggs. And I wouldn't know about it. Alam mo yun. Yeah. yeah. Your family is so cute. I, I follow you on Instagram. And so, your kids are super mm-hmm. cute. But my favorite... um thing of yours is yung highlight mo na hashtag feed bleak. Tawang-tawa talaga ako. <laughs> Favorite yun. Yung unang-una waist trainer na yung sing-sing niya. It was, it's so yeah. funny. Ang bad mood ako. I just look at that highlight. So, like, katawa oh, sila. Ang cute. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. Sabi ko nga, na, pangatlo ng baby, pangatlong beses na ako magpapapayat. Siya, hindi pa rin siya pumapayat from the first one. Alam mo yun? No, he's, it's hard sabi niya, after the last embryo na lang daw siya magpapapayat eh hello lima embryo namin only have two more so okay para ano po na um my deadline siya ang cute nga kita kita ko kapag high waist yung mga pajama ayun ko ako petang benta sa akin yung, i like the yung, one that you posted about the wing scale ng sira no yeah, yo yung... last night <laughs> i also <laughs> like him kita mo ko ng bago because it's 77 on Lazada Pero hindi naman siya sira. Ba't ako bibili ng bago? <laughs> hindi sira siya. Pantay yung pagkala namin nag-ano. That's why I took out my phone and started recording. Ay, because... okay. Ay, favorite ko yun yung pat ayaw mo kapayat kasi magiging selosa ka. Tawang-tawa rin. Gusto ko sa kaya. You guys must laugh a lot laugh a lot at home. Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering, you went through a lot of doctors. Who did you pick? And then what kind of like, what were the steps? Like the procedure? Uh, and I, the well, I think I jive with the one that's just straight to the point. May, mm-hmm. I guess, iba-iba kasing doctor, iba-ibang, pang iba-ibang personality ng tao. Mm-hmm. Ako, I really like Dr. Novero. Number one, he's the head of Carmi, um, mm-hmm. which is the head of St. Luke's. So, the, kumbaga, yung buong reproductive department, head siya. Um, mm-hmm. Parang, because nga, I froze so early, ang tagal na namin, parati kong mini-message, Parang naging go-to doctor ko na siya. Um, I like how he's just straight to the point. Alam mo yun, um, For those asking, I think some girls, it's important. He's a guy. He's a guy na OB. But this, parang fatherly kasi naman siya. So parang um, you won't get shy that he's an OB. Um, yeah, so I ended up with Dr. Novero. And why? We drive lang. Ayoko kasi na mahabang usapan. I mean, tell me the problem, ganyan, you don't have to sugarcoat, ganyan, kung may problema or whatever, or, alam mo yun, although, fortunately, wala naman ang problema, but he just explained it so easy, he would yeah. also explain the other side, like, halimbawa, you know, we have so much of your eggs, we cannot fertilize oil because, um, anong gagawin mo sa 20 na anak, diba? <laughs> At least yung eggs, we can just throw away, alam mo yun, parang ganun, but, mm-hmm. Embryos, you cannot throw away. These are live already, the ba? Yeah. Para so he was able to explain it to me ng maayos, um, mm-hmm. so I can make logical decisions about the whole process. Okay, so it's all about driving. So, did you have any fears going through the process? Wala. <laughs> okay, no, you know, wala because wala rin akong basis at that time. It was just Karina and Karina's such a strong person. I didn't see her like break down with any of the hormonal problems. I was saying uh, to Bea that um, mm-hmm. at that time, since wala akong marker, wala akong mabasang article, wala akong makausap na tao, I didn't know that I was injecting my. I knew I was injecting myself with hormones. I just didn't know the effect sa akin. And it made me really, really emotional. So, para akong may... Tagal na rin kasi, ha? Parang more than 10 years na. But what I just remember is that I cried in the car dahil traffic. And I was late to my meeting. Hmm. So, hey, I'm not an emotional person. But for me to do that, dahil naawa ako sa Pilipinas, parang uh-huh. traffic na ito niya. So, alam mo yun, it was actually the effect. Nalaman ko na lang after when it was more... You know, when it was more talked about and then people were yeah. saying that it was effect ng hormones sa kanila, and you know, ah, kaya pala ako umiyak noon. Um, di rin naman ako takot sa, sa, sa needles. I had to inject mm-hmm. myself every day mm-hmm. for the hormones. Some girls, I know some of the IVF moms, they would go to the hospital daily. I, I cannot mm-hmm. do that. I'm so busy at that time. 
Um, so I was injecting myself. Parang, dokoin ko naman sarili ko, sabihin ko, takot ako dun, nilo, magpabotox nga ako sa gana, di ba? So parang, mm-hmm. narating ko rin, you know? Yeah. Um, nothing. You go in, it's not even, um you don't even stay the night in the hospital. They harvest the eggs. Then after a few days, they give you a report how many is good. Mm-hmm. And then it was just frozen for years and years until I needed them. So ayan na sila ngayon, yung maiingay na naririnig nyo kanina. <laughs> they're just not um, delivered the same year. But they're just so cool, made. no? Wow. wow. That's amazing. I only had one harvest eh, because... Yun nga, dahil nga maganda yung quality because bagets na bagets. Dalaga pa yung eggs ko nun, di ba? Oh, 26, so, fresh. Yeah, the quality was really, really good. So, yeah, mm. even the one I'm carrying now, they're all basically the same age. Silang tatlo. That means that they're all not delivered this year. Yeah, it's it's actually really good because we've been talking to a lot of 20-year-olds and they're already thinking about it because sometimes employers can fund it or um, maybe they're more forward-thinking or maybe the pandemic. Oh, because like Shari, Shari and I didn't really think about it. Like, I don't think we ever thought about egg freezing at our 20s, which is good for the women now. I'm curious mm-hmm. about the reactions of people around you. I know we touched... Um, touched on this like a couple of days ago, but what do you think were like your immediate family, your friends, strangers, because you are, you know, uh, very yeah, public. That, that vocal. Yeah. Now. Then. I guess yeah. then and now also. Yeah. And at that time, talagang para siyang, ayaw mo ba magpakasal? Wala ka bang balak magpamilya? Mag-asawa? Ganyan. Wala. <laughs> Alam mo, it came to a point that I was already so pissed off because now you hear so much of those from the older yeah. generation. Mm-mm. Yung una parang willing pa ako sagutin, but nung paulit-ulit na sinasabi ko, hindi kasi may medical condition ako, eh, kailangan ko gawin. <laughs> eh, dito, diba? Uh-uh. Tapos na sa akin. Yeah, I mean, if you, you know, I really didn't have the the energy na to debate with them. So mm-hmm. I just said, it's like saying, you don't want to put make 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 the issue any light, but if you just say na parang may cancer ako or may sakit ako, kaya kailangan ko siya gawin. Di shut up, right? So at exactly. one point, tiko na tiko na ako. Ganon na lang yung sinasabi ko. So mm-hmm. <laughs> parang ina nila magtanong. Yeah, but at mm-hmm. first it was hard because I was so vocal. But because that's my personality, I wasn't the type naman who would like shy away and. Alam mo yun, pag gagawin ko siya, panindigan ko siya. Proud ako, di ba? So, Oo, syempre. Even with the boys na I dated, like, yeah, I'm frozen eggs there, so I'm not in a hurry to get married. Uh, no pressure. No, no pressure. Alam mo yun. Um, Pero ngayon, do you, see, do you hear anything? Alam mo ngayon, more, what I get more are um, asking for help. Mm-hmm. And when you say it's information um, because they know that I'm so vocal nga na they see my kids the mother okay they already saw Scarlett they already saw Pepe and Pilar I mean and I think out of Dr. Vicky out of Karina Pan ako yung medyo mas young and social media tayo ngayon di ba? so they feel like mm. they can reach out to me easier mm. um, yeah so now it's more people asking for help Parang ako yung first call, first na you call when you're thinking of IVF. Tawag ako si Divine, mm-hmm. alam mo yun, magtanong ako si nun doktor. I can tell you that since Bass was born, parang mas gurumabi siya nung, nung na, na parang Bass was born. Kasi before that, they knew I had frozen my eggs. But hindi nila mm-hmm. nakikita yung result. So yeah. it was just, okay, she froze her eggs. Um, but when simula na, na pinanganak ko si Bas, I must have given my doctor's number more than 300 times to different people. And that is no joke. Yeah, I guess seeing the product no, of such a process. <laughs> yeah. Hyper kid. <laughs> so parang, um, yeah, they, they see na it's Pero most of the people asking whether friends, family, even social media are people who already need it. Meaning, they already mm. tried natural or they already have a problem. They've been married for so many years. 
Mm-mm. I mean, what if you had it before? Yeah. I, I, so if this is a call for younger women to think about your options, at least you know that there's this option. What if you had it before? Then hindi ka nagmamadali ngayon. Kasi ngayon nagmamadali even if, you know, people get married later nowadays. Hindi na siya yeah. parang na 21, 22, panahon ng lola natin, di ba? Uh-oh. So now people are getting married 30s. I got married 35, dude. Kasi kami na lang yung last remaining single ni Blake. Siguro we ended up with each other. Wala na kami choice, right? So, <laughs> kasi siya yung last remaining. So, barkala ko, ako yung last remaining. So, parang, okay, pwede na to. Perfect. So, 35 is really late. If I probably did my harvest at 35, I don't know how many eggs I would have gotten, but I have heard na Konti na lang talaga kasi you're gitna ka na ng papuntang 40. I got 26 when I was younger. Wow. And now I've been hearing two, three, three eggs. I mean, compare the numbers. It drama- yeah. I heard that it dramatically drops after 30. I'm not a doctor, but that's just what I heard. Yeah. Um, and people telling me na ganito na lang nakuwang eggs. But um, it's also your lifestyle. I think now yeah. people have like healthier lifestyle, so baka things are improving also with that. Yeah. And hereditary rin, di ba? Uh-oh. There are so, so many at, factors. Yes. Yes. So at the tender age of 31, we should get on it. <laughs> I'm convinced. I mean, I'm at convinced. least you know you have an option. I mean, yeah. if it wasn't for Karina, I'd probably not know anything, di ba? Alam mo yun, buti, she was going through that process and then yeah. she opened it up to me. Because at that time, hindi siya normal na nakikita mong article or napag-usapan sa podcast. Wala, walang ganun. Mm-hmm. So when having gone through the process and having kids now, two kids and one on the way, are there pros and cons to it? What do you mean? What are you trying to like, what, were the there question? Were there things na parang you're in the back of your head na parang... Um, I don't know, because people always tell us about the pros, right? And people always ask, what if, like, it damages, like, the remaining egg cells or blah, 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 or so expensive? But I don't think it's the cons, because I, was, I really pushed my life to the limit. Like, at Mm-mm, 35, yeah. the, it's more pro that I, pro, pros that I didn't have a hard time conceiving. Most Mm-mm. of my kabat were already sumasayaw na sila kung saan kanikaninong sento, because... You know, I mean, yeah, I yeah. would probably be doing yeah. that. Right? Yeah. Like, and I'm right on schedule. I got married August 5. I gave birth May 5, nine months after. Seven ng WHO, kailangan birth to birth. The next kid would be one and a half years. Nilagay ko yung second embryo ko eight months after para sakto na one and a half pag binukos na ako ulit. And then I was supposed to do it again when Blanco was eight months, but the COVID ako. So yon, hindi ko na mm-hmm. okay. so, Yeah. So, but the minute I was cleared from all my COVID tests, I put the next embryo without pill. I mean, and Jan, mm-hmm. wala, wala hung naging problem. You know, the worst thing na nahikita ko and people are talking to me about, um, I mean, gustong gusto nila, parang they feel like gustong gusto na nila ng anak, both the husband and the wife. And then hirap na hirap na hirap sila because yeah. they didn't know this option. I, I, I don't really respect kasi people who chose not to do it even if they knew. Choice nila yun, di ba? Yeah. Pero yung mga taong hindi alam na may ganitong option, that is the the bad part because meron palang yeah. ganun, di sa akin nagawa ko if she was open about it. Yeah. yeah. So the, 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 <laughs> I think oh, the biggest con lang now we heard is it's so expensive. Now it's like between three hundred to five hundred. Now, when you had it done, was it also that expensive? No, because I didn't do it fully. I only mm-hmm. froze till the egg. Hindi ako fertilize. Kasi part of the cost, actually, the main cost is number one, your medicines. Remember, yeah. I was twenty six. At the peak of my reproductive year, I didn't need yeah. a lot. Because hindi yung kailangan stimulate ng sobra. Because perfect nga siya eh. Kung baga, maledictorian yeah. siya at that time. So, minimal medicine. Second, um, I didn't have to go through the process. Wala akong problema. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't have any reproductive problem at that time. 
um, the actual rental, rental ba dapat tawag ko dun? Well, you pay yearly yeah. because it's yeah. frozen. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. the rental is only like 10 to 15,000 a year. Para ka mm. nag-Starbucks na tatlong bo- baso in a month. Diba? Parang mm-hmm. ganun lang yung, yung for the working girls that were, were ano, oh. trying to. Yeah. Diba? Pero mas, doon na yung mga embryos mo or eggs mo sa, sa freezer. So, yeah. it was cheap for me because I didn't have a lot of medicines. A lot of the gastos is doon sa medicine. Kaya mm. siya naging mahal. Because nga may problema na ayaw mag-produce ng eggs, mm-hmm. ganyan, ganyan, bandana, whatever. So, dun yung number one. Second na uh, um, gastos would be in the part of fertilizing it with the with the guy's sperm, di ba? And, mm. and actually transferring it back. But remember, I only froze till the eggs. So, yeah. nung time na mahal, portion lang ng mahal yung nakuha ko. It wasn't mm. like the full amount, the dati millions, millions daw. So, mm-hmm. when they... One day showed it to me, ah, okay, kaya ko naman pala pag-ipunan, mm-hmm. di ba? Parang, mm-hmm. sige, kaya ko siyang bayaran, sabi ko, kasi hindi, mm-hmm. hindi pa yung full. And by the time I needed to fertilize and all those things, the facilities here in the Philippines, okay na. Dati kasi mahal because you have to keep on sending yeah. it abroad, whatever, whatever, testing abroad. But now the facilities, years after, 10 years after, they're okay na. So it's cheaper na. So... Yeah, I guess sinuerte rin ako. But now nga, ganyan na lang. 200 to 300 kung okay ka, wala kang problema. Yeah. I'm curious when you froze your eggs. I, I know you mentioned you were really high on life. You you always maxed out your life. Did you feel like you maxed it more because you knew you froze your eggs? Or you were just the same divine um, before and after freezing eggs. I can't say because <laughs> I took my eggs talaga. So I can't say what if I did it, but I think mm. if I did it, I would be, because I was sure and I wanted to have kids. Okay. I'm yeah. so sure. I came from a big family. I have lots of siblings. I enjoy being with my siblings. Um, I always pictured myself with a big family when I'm older. I just don't know when. The yeah. question was when. And yung life, timeline ko, hindi nagmamatch yung reproductive timeline ko because you know, ask me any festival na puntahan ko, Coachella lima yeah. beses pumunta, tomorrow lang pumunta alam mo yun, parang lahat, lahat talaga yeah. ginawa ko, nag-masters ako abroad, nag-aim mm-hmm. pa ako, although hindi ko natapos yung aim ko pero abroad, I finished my master so everything I wanted to do, I did it and wala yeah. akong pomo, I'm not saying na hindi ko siya kaya gawin kung may anak na ako but ang point ko is, hindi ako nagmadaling magpakasal or, or alam mo yun, hindi siya naging yeah. uh, taking time bomb sa akin na kailangan mo na magpakasal kasi ganyan-ganyan. Hindi ganyan. na pwede yung kutsela ko chela ko pa dyan. Uh-huh. Alam mo yun? Uh-huh. Hey, wala rin sa akin because, you know, have eggs there. So, it was just, uh, it was readily available for me. So, um, yeah. I can't really skip hindi ko na maximize baka nagawan ko pa rin siya ng paraan kahit siguro nagkasawa ko yeah. in the middle but i can yeah. see that now um parang yung pandemic didn't affect me so much because parang wala akong fomo na naku hindi ako this year hindi ako naka pag abroad ganyan kasi talaga sinulit ko naman You've yung life ko na yeah. uh-huh. yeah. kulong mo ako siguro five more years dito sa bahay alam mo yung parang i'm all good guys i need to rest complete na uh-huh. yeah <laughs> So I'm curious with that. I'm curious with some of your girlfriends because I'm sure a lot of people confide in you and then probably uh, open up with um, maybe before when they weren't married. Do you think that some people, like some women will be like, ay, magpapakasal na ako para magkaanak. Like, it's really in their forefront of their mind, like settling because the biological clock is there. Yes, and no, kung kaibigan mo ako, sinabi ko na sa'yo mag-freeze ka ng eggs eh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, if you're in that point now and I feel like you're, I mean, ano to, ah? yeah. what, if, ah? what if there's a friend na hindi namin bet yung jowa niya? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you get it na. What if lang. Wala naman ako kailangan ganun ngayon. But, um, tapos nagmamadali siya magpakasal for the wrong reason? Yeah. I would just say, like, you know, if that's your fear, alika, samahan kita sa doktor ko, 
freeze mm-hmm. those and then continue yeah. relationship tingnan natin if it really ends up with that because now you don't have to worry about getting pregnant because you know you have your eggs in the vault the mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah so <laughs> the i'm so vocal about it all my friends know that they have that option parang mm-hmm. wala sa kanila yung feeling na naipit sila kailangan nila magpakasal dahil kailangan nila magkaanak. Dahil nga, you know, ever since they know that option, they would talk to me about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what does there were towards them? We are a show about love, divine, thirsty and thirty because you're <laughs> thirsty, thirty-year-olds. So, what is your advice to single women in their thirties who are nervous about finding the right partner? It doesn't necessarily have to be connected to having kids, but just, you know, dying alone is a fear of a lot of our listeners. What is your advice? You know what? When I was single, I wasn't afraid to die. But oh, I was so YOLO. I was like, <laughs> you know, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. You know, yun, it was really like, now I'm going to have fear because of the kids. So, yeah. para, God, Lord, give me 140. I want to see my dad. That's what I'm saying. Like, Lord, really, tell me to do any dare, whatever. I'm on, di ba? Ay, yeah. Una na ako sa linya. But now, you're like, safe ba yan? Okay ba yan? Alam mo yung parang ganun? Because you're thinking about, you know, when you become a mother, um, you're not just thinking about yourself. You're thinking even after your death. Mm-mm. Alam mo, you're already planning. Okay, parang kami, aminado kami ni Blake, oh, we have, kid, we have kids na late na tayo. So imagine, mm-hmm. a big chunk of their life we won't be there. Kaya we want na marami sila. Yeah. Alam mo yun, para at least may mga kasama kayo, alam mo yun, ang lukot naman kung dalawa lang sila, di ba? So, my advice to single women, um, you know, you really have to focus on yourself. Dapat yung mga noises, you just, you don't listen to the noises because ako, I can say na ang dami ko na rin heartaches na pinagdaanan mas gusto ko nang mamatay na mag-isa at that point nung single ako kaysa mamatay ako ng konsumido ko. <laughs> okay yun. I like that. Oo. <laughs> diba? Araw-araw sa pulo mo. Oo. I was okay with being alone. Although, syempre, masalap talaga may jowa. Diba? Mm-hmm. May mga tama. I don't to talk to, but I, I'm very gifted and blessed to have really good friends around me. Hmm. So I never felt like may kulang kahit pag wala akong jowa. Gusto ko yan. Oh. What's oh, your follow, number one? Follow-up question. Best, ano, best way to cure heartache? Actually, that's Somebody really wants to hear this. Hindi, hindi ko kasi ako pag ganyan eh. Ano talaga? Oh, I'm just like, you know, ako una nagkakalat talaga ako. Siyempre, enjoying ko yun, yeah. di ba? May reason ka magkalat, di ba? Tapos, pag-sepasensyan ka ng friends mo, lasing-lasing ka every night. <laughs> But may hangganan. So, I did that yeah. with um, my last relationship before B. Kasi kalat talaga ako. Literal na si Vice, si Visceral, Vice Ganda would be like carrying me out of the club. Yung ganong kalasing. Yung alam mo, yung bit-bit ko na ng mga kaibigan mo. And then I just said, after siguro a month of kagulo, I just said, okay, I'm gonna kill myself this way. So I'm gonna finish my master's. I left. Okay. I went abroad. No plan. I just picked my favorite city. Okay, I'm gonna go to Paris. Then after, like, I think two months, I have to go to London to finish na my master's. Okay. Um, dalin after. Okay na lang. And that's the thing. That's the best thing because... Sobrang matipid na tao. I mean, I know I work early. So, when I did that break, meron akong funding, alam mo yun, na kaya kong support yung sarili ko. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun. So, wala akong plano what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go. I just went to Paris, met people, went around, met with Brian Boy. Brian's like, let's go to Croatia. Let's go to Ultra. Okay, punta ko. <laughs> yung bit-bit, yung literal na. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's go to Paris. Peter Albo naman is there. Okay, I'll go. And then let's go. Then I have to go to London. Diba? Then that's with other friends. So and that's where Blake followed because we met before I left. 
Oh. We actually were oh. classmates ng college, but then we saw each other again ng Libo Rakay. Oh. And then, oh. sumunod na siya doon nung time na mag-aaral na ako. So oh. anyway, focus on yourself. I felt like I I was able to heal because I came from a relationship na matagal. So that was a 10 years and then after nag-rebound ako kagad to a 4-year relationship. It came to a point na hindi ko na alam yung gusto ko dahil everything was a routine. Nagising mm-hmm. kagad or mainit ulo mo, hindi ko na alam ano, ano ba talaga yung gusto ko? Ano ba yung, alam mo yun? Because when you rebound on a, to the next relationship, ang hinahanap mo, everything na hindi siya. Yung last, di ba? Yeah. Everything yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi naman talaga yun yung gusto mo. And then so when I broke up, I was able to find myself and then I, I was able to realize ano ba talaga yung gusto ko? Ano yung, mm. you know, what I enjoy? Um, I, I made a promise to myself I won't rebound. <laughs> Alam mo yun. And then, yeah, I went to places, I met people, I eat good food, mm. I studied you know, when you study, it opens a different kind of, you get excited again. Alam mo yun, yung, yung parang ka may new excitement sa life. Sorry, ang ingay nila. <laughs> so, yun. Um, focus on yourself. And then, sa akin, fortunately, mabait si Lord, dumating. Pero kung hindi man dumating si Blake at that time, I think I'm still enjoying myself. Alam mo yun, I mean, my ex yeah. Anytime na salimbawa talagang gusto ko na magkapamilya, wala akong nalakit. Pwede naman ako kumuha sperm donor, ba? I mean, may um, mga ganun na option. But yeah. at least that point in my life, I was happy. And I knew what I wanted. And I think that was the perfect time to have a family. Because alam mo ano talaga, ano ka, ano kang tao at ano yung gusto. So, yun, yun yung advice ko sa kanila na focus on yourself talaga. Para buong buong buo ka. I like it. This is the perfect advice for me. Gusto ko yan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so did you write it down pala? I'm just curious because people always talk about manifestations. People like, you know, people go to some, the farm to... <laughs> uh, raise a mango uh, to, tree. To the mango tree. Oh, yeah. but Lord is really, ano, Lord is funny to me. Yeah. Because matasalin akong tao. I don't know if you follow my stories. I always pray at night. I, I pray, yeah. I pray. Um mula sa itsura, pero yes, madasalin ako. <laughs> so, at that point in my life, nagulong-gulong-gulo ko, I went to Sacre Coeur, which is Sacred Heart in Paris. So, sabi ko, ano ba naman to? Andito na naman ako, healing ako sa'yo, ha? So, sabi ko, ito, healing na rin ako, layo-layo na rin ang nilakbay ko, galing Pilipinas, diba? Ito, todo ko na. Number one, I thought like, sabi ko, number one, you know, I feel Manila's too small for me because nang nag-break kami ng jowa ko, na ex-jowa ko, dadating ako sa club, andun din siya, isang table pa kami, eh, parang paano ba to, di ba? Parang pareho yeah. tayong barkada. Tapos uh-huh. yung maliligaw sa akin, hindi ba kasama mo sa isang show? Yung parang ganon. Alam mo yun, everyone was, everyone knew yeah. each other, everyone was hang out with one another. So I told, the, I told them, um, nung nagdadasal ako na, Alam mo, Lord, nahihirapan na ako. I think Manila's too small for me. Like, baka pwede naman ako sa ibang lugar. I was in Paris. So, I was in Paris, di ba? Okay. Yeah. So, second, sabi ko, o, oh, total, nandito na rin naman tayo, di ba? Sabi ko, hingin ko na rin. Gusto ko, may lahi. Ay, dito na lang sa Paris. So, hindi ko pa ako sa Paris, di ba? Bigyan mo ko naman yung lahi. Ay, lahat na rin na nilakbay ko, bigyan mo naman ako ng prince. Sabi ko, <laughs> I love your wish list. Parang, parang, alam mo yun, manghihingi ka na lang, sulitin mo na lang. So, fast forward, a month after, Blake came, and then I was telling my friends, ay naku, syempre, sinabi ko yung dasal ko sa friends ko, sabi ko, nino, dasal nga ako, ganyan, ganyan. So, one month, mo, one month after, I said, meron dalawa manliligaw. So, anyway, si Blake yung isa doon, kasi sabi ko, alam mo yung kung masyado to si Blake, kasi sabi ni Margot ng Becky Nights, sabi niya, Girl, yan yung hiningi mo. Tapos sabi ko, ha? Huh? Ano siya yung hiningi ko? Number one, di ba ayaw mo na sa Manila? Oh. So binigyan ka. Sabi ko, oo nga, no, Bisaya, sa Cebu. Ko, oh yeah, sa Cebu. Akala ko, French yung bibigay sa akin. Ayaw, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to say hi to them? Wait. 
Before. Ah, Anyways, I <laughs> Okay, and then number two. When we were walking in Paris, I told Blake, alam mo, gusto ko talaga jumawa ng, ng French. Kasi alam mo, kahit naliligaw siya, hindi naman kami serious na mga tao. So I would still mm-hmm. tell him, na gusto ko jumawa ng French. Sabi niya, Hoy, gago French ako ah. Totoo? <laughs> Tumatawa ko. Apparently, you know the mom is Latvia. This is the story. So, kinaan ko pa yan i-verify nung naging kami, diba? I went to the mom, to my mother-in-law. Sabi ko, anong time na yun? Siyempre, tita. Tita, French ka ba talaga? If you see her, she's really, really tisay. She goes, eto nga yung problema because my dad was a spy. So, hindi ko alam kung French ako or Russian ako because it was either a French spy working mm. for the Russian or a Russian spy working for the French. French. Wow. So, we did it okay. in the Yung alam niyo yung mga... Yung <laughs> Oo. Oo, yung... Oo. Yeah. yeah. Those DNA things. She's Latvian. So, meaning, may kind of some truth to it because... French resident because spy nga yung lolo, yung lolo niya, I mean yung dad niya. So technically, French pa rin, di ba? Yeah. So, yung pa rin sa akin ni Lord yung hinihingi ko, pero nga lang yung isa <laughs> yung inisip ko. Ito yung clincher, sabi ko kay Margo, paano yung hinihingi ko? Humingi ako ng prince. <laughs> sabi ni Margo, at pangalan ng negosyo nila. Their business is called Prince Warehouse. They have department stores about like 60 <laughs> department stores all over. Goosebumps, ang galing! So, sabi nila, pinigyan ka ng prince, hindi lang yung gusto mong prince, diba? It's all prince, but you know, it was there, it was clear. So, um, after wow. not, uh, we had a chance because my flight going back to the Philippines will be from Paris. So, yeah. binaligan ko talaga, kahit na konti lang yung oras ko, binaligan ko talaga yung sabi ko, kayo ha, pinaplaytime nyo ako ha. <laughs> Alam nyo na yung sabi ko, pero iba yung binigay nyo, pero sakto pa rin. But, yeah, so, I guess it was prayers, luck, um, parang, ang galing, I, ang galing. I was perfect at that time. I mean, I was happy, mm. I can live without a guy. Alam mo yon mm-hmm. And, um, umaapaw ako, yun yung term, I think. Umaapaw ako, so I have a lot to give. Ang hirap kasi yung naghahanap ka ng kulang mo sa ibang tao. Yung fill you yeah. up. Kaya ano, pag nawala. Ito, umaapaw ako. So I guess that was the perfect time. Yun nga lang, yung time na yun is 30 plus na ako. So I imagine if I didn't pick my ex, di ba? So, yeah, that was the story. Um, na Hindi ko siya sinulat. Hiningi ko talaga siya kasi Lord. Lord. Pero Lord mm. had a funny way of giving it to me. Ang galing. I'm speechless. I'm <laughs> Ang galing mo naman <laughs> magdasal. Pwede mag-pass on ng prayers. <laughs> 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 Ang ako kasi. And that's how I, you know, I don't, I'm not a different person when I, when I pray. Like, yeah, kung gano'n yeah. ako, gano'n pa rin ako kabakla kung magdadasal ako. Gano'n. So, yeah. Um, I mean, lahat na anak ko, dinasal ko sa akong Lord naman. Ang gawin niyo naman improvement of the race. Hindi ko naiisa-isa hinapagandahin niyo pag ganyan. Pero kailangan naman naka-upgrade sa akin, no? Gagastos pa ako sa doktor na marami. So, parang, cute naman. Ayun. <laughs> Super. Lumataw ko ng tulad. Ang galing. Amazed wow, ako. I'm Amazed speechless. Ang galing Wala. Na. Magdadasal na ako talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, if uh, pwede makitry ng prayer brigade mo, Divine, I like this. Okay, ta, super. So, yeah, thank you so much for answering our questions, Divine. I think you're the perfect combination of living life to the fullest, pero covered yung basis, which is perfect. Yeah. Be well, well, but yeah. well, well, responsibly. Or if insurance, diba, kumukuha ka nga ng insurance to secure yourself financially, why don't you secure yourself in other things too, diba? Uh-oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that time. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. And so much. that story is embedded in my head forever. Because okay. um, he's here. Blake, I, uh, you know, I see you. You're so poggy. Hi, hey, handsome guy. Hi. Hi. He's so cute. I know. Guapo. He is super cute. Grabe. Ano poggy mo, ha? Kaya may mga papa. Yeah, so thank you for having me. I mean, I hope that 
um, I was able to share some info. The others are too scientific, so I just try to make it easy for everyone. Yeah. Say hi. Um, <gasps> Paul, <laughs> cute naman no, 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 at least now, um, I, I believe in science as much as I believe in God, guys. So, I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, option. Science is there for a reason. And, I mean, ngayon nga, di ba? Bakuna is working. So, you know that, you know, mm-hmm. binigyan tayo ni Lord ng science to help us with life. So, yeah, at least they have that option. They can have, um, they can make better decisions when it comes to... Parang I don't like the idea na yung girls na iipit to make decisions na hindi sila buong-buo just because of their biological clock. So at least ngayon, mga ganyan ang options, options. available. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. It was like a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. And the bonus <laughs> story, so I like that. Ang hirap natin mukha match na schedule before. Ang dami talaga nangyayari. Kita niyo ang gulo pa rin ng bahay ko. But yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations on the third baby. Bakit ang, ang fresh yeah. and pregnant Walang woman? Walang pang talawa mo guys after na to. <laughs> ang galing. <laughs> ang galing. Isa ka rin. May kisabay ako. Labo. <laughs> okay. I mean, anyone, if you guys have questions, I, mean, I usually answer naman. If I haven't answered it sa vlog. But yeah, I try to answer because I totally understand how people feel. So I really reply or I give advice yeah. because I mean, can you imagine wanting to go next step and then just you because yeah. you yeah. can So yun, guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank Looking you. forward to more Bye. feed blick stories. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Thirsty and 30.